Hello everyone, and welcome to Tea and Tarkov. It's me, Tasteless, and you guys might be sitting there wondering, what the hell is Tea and Tarkov? Well, this is going to be a little series that I'm doing, where we watch some clips from the week, sit back with our cup of tea, and talk about Tarkov. As you can probably tell, got a new mic. Hopefully the audio quality should be a lot better now. Still messing around with some of the settings though, you know, can be a bit echoey at times. But hopefully, in the future we'll get that sorted. So like I said, no guide today, just a little Tarkov talk, Tarkov chit chat. <laughs> Couple of clips in the background, me killing some dudes. You know, later on we might do some analysis of the fights. Just want to start this video, you know, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all good, had a good week. I myself had a decent week, made stonks of cash in Tarkov. <laughs> had a load of fun, you know. Oh yeah, just want to say thank you guys so much. I say every video, but your support, your positivity, it's overwhelming. You guys are absolutely awesome. The growth of the channel has been insane, way faster than I expected. I'm having so much fun making these videos. Honestly, it's so much fun. And I've been really looking forward to this video, this Tea and Tarkov. I just want to like chat with you guys, chat a bit about myself, you know, talk about, you know, in these clips, my thoughts, process behind them, analyze the gameplay a bit. And have an absolute blast. So yeah, as you can see, I'm in Fortress. I'm going to fight with some dudes. Trying to listen in. Trying to hone in with my spidey senses. See where these dudes are. A lot of noise going on. So I'm going to run up the back staircase. See if there's anything up there. Have a little look around. Hope you guys have had a good week. You know, I've personally discovered loads of stuff this week. I say discovered. I already knew about it. I just wasn't utilizing it to the best of my abilities. So yeah, when it comes to me and this game previously, I've changed now. <laughs> but I was uh, someone that liked to save money on his armor without truly understanding the consequences of doing this. So recently I looked at like an armor guide, you know, online. And now with more understanding, I understand why that tier four ragman armored rig, which is super cheap and great for a budget loadout, but it might get you killed an awful lot. So I've recently upgraded using better armors now having a lot more success and having loads of fun as well. It's more me being a tight ass, not going to lie. And also me not fully understanding how the armor system works, but that's all changed now. So things are looking up. So yeah, in this clip, as you can see, killed a dude, top fortress. Some other dudes pushing me, take him out. Wing bang, boom, easy clap. No problem for the champ. Like I said in my previous guys, always expect another dude. Don't just assume, you know, you've got a kill. Two kills, there's no one else around. As you can see here, there is another man. Indeed, there is. Always there's another man. Don't say that to your wife. Anyway, we take him out. Flick of the wrists. Bing, bam, boom. Dead man. Yeah, that was a nice little clip. Taking on a little free man there. I believe as a solo player, if you play it right, you're always an advantage. You don't have that element of hesitation that they've got as playing as a team. You know, the seconds of, is that you? Is that you? That will get you killed. So yeah, nice little clip there. Had loads of fun. Got with some decent gear. Actually went on quite a little streak with this P90. Very, very good gun. Oh yeah, this this one. I love this one. So in this clip, I'm using the SA58. Recently just got buffed. Gotta say, eh, it's okay. Nothing brilliant. So I stand on top of the Z extract ZB012 or something like that. Can't remember the name. And I peek some dude here in this warehouse on the right. So I was like, hell yeah. Let's get involved. Put on my Sonic shoes. Ran over here. And I just assumed that this dude's still sitting in the building. Had my hunches. Heard a couple of shuffles. So I decided to, you know, play it slow. Throw some nades in in a sec. Turns out there was a secret orgy going on that I didn't get the invite to. So obviously I was pretty upset about that. So, you know, get some revenge. Throw some nades in. I thought it was one dude, turned out to be a lot more than one dude in this one building. That was a bit of a sucky nade, that's alright, we go for round two, here we go, get this nade in there, nice and deep, that's what she said. Still looking for this one dude, no sign of him yet, there he is, blast him up, his friends started calling him lead face after that, took all those rounds to the teeth. Obviously we all know, shoulder peak every building, there we go, another little lurker in the corner, sometimes I wonder what these people are doing. Like, four dudes in one building. What is going on? 
Are you guys that scared or <laughs> what's going on? Oi, Pete, I heard some grenades. Everyone take up defensive positions. Let's all stand on the same spot. So, yeah. <laughs> what's going on there, honestly? What a joke. Yes, we got a bit of gear off these guys, obviously. Not too high level. Didn't expect them to be. Though, to be fair. But, yeah. The black MDR. Love this gun. It is insane. And this was quite a fun raid. Ah, the flashlight meta. This is the most annoying thing in Tarkov right now. There's people putting flashlights in buildings. It is so hard to judge where they are. But still, blast them. Blast them straight back to the past. For all you kids watching the video, he's not dead. He's just sleeping. Have a little nap. Oh yeah, this all kicked off. It was like Saturday night at mine. Just like 10 dudes in one place. So yeah, you can tell I was well up for this. So we go, take that one dude out. There's still loads of shots going off, rounds going off. So we've got to get an elevated position. As you know, if you've been watching my guides, we don't just W key it over there. Be patient, take it slow. Gain that tactical advantage. Oh, bloody hell. When I record these videos, I'm waving my arms around everywhere. Smash my mic into my nose. So, hold on. So yeah, as I was saying, that body, not going anywhere. Pretty dead. I mean, sleeping. He's sleeping, kids. Uh, he's in a good position to cover if anyone wants to loot him. So in a minute, I make a massive mistake. My teammate has a tendency to run off and not communicate to me sometimes. Obviously, I'm not a mind reader. I haven't got GPS tracking in his shoes. So I'm kind of staring at this dude like, is this you? Uh, is this you? Don't take the shot. Miss the opportunity. It wasn't him. But that's okay, because we actually turned this around. Get the dub. Just like last Saturday, finished all the dudes off. Spoiler alert. Anyway, so we're just kind of holding here, seeing if someone else repeats. But then we hear a shotty, silent shotty, the bane of my life. So we're just waiting for this dude to peek. Playing it nice and slow. There he is, giving away his position. Bang, headshot, dead. I can't stress enough how good these guns are. I don't, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Aimed out the second he walked past. Thought he might be dead. It looked pretty headshotty, but apparently not. I can't stress enough though how good these 7.62 guns are, like the SCAR, the Mark 17, the MDR, SR25, a lot of clips and stuff going around in the Tarkov community because of ballistics and stuff like that. But these 7.62 rounds never let me down, honestly. If you want to kill people, 100% chance, use this gun. Well, not this gun specifically, but these bullets at least, like SR25, honestly, won't let you down. Anyways, we'll kind of wait it out and see if he pops up again, pops up for chats. Doesn't actually happen, so we end up repositioning in a second. And while we wait for this absolute lump of a guy, the most unfit soldier I've ever seen, can't even climb a couple of pallets, while we're waiting for him to reposition, you know, it's a good time to ask you guys, what's your favourite gun? What is your favourite gun? Is there any gun this wipe that you just think is absolutely outstanding? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know, honestly. You never know, you might even see one of your guns in my video. Not because I've built it, because I've killed you, obviously. Picked it up, and now I'm running around with it. Just kidding. I don't kill anyone, apart from these dudes. So I'm running through this warehouse. Obviously, the lighting's really good at this game. And there's a dude there. Didn't even see him. He could have sat there for the next 10 minutes, and I would not have known. Anyway, we managed to take him out, drop back to hill, and here's where we get third party. This dude, absolute chad, level 52, clearly dropped his fat backpack somewhere. Couldn't find it. Anyway, walks into me, take him out for a nice five course meal, but I've left him with the bill. Here we go. Here he comes. Absolutely bamboozled. There we go. So yeah, this dude had pretty good gear. Had an Alton on, hence why he hadn't heard me, I guess. You know, it's not like I was trying to be subtle. I just had it out with like 10 dudes, so he knew I was here. So yeah, I took him out. Teammate decided to die. Nothing new there. Decided not to loot him straight away. Decided to try and post up and see if that other guy got greedy, like the dude that killed my teammate. See if he gets greedy for the loot, runs across. But he didn't, he was pretty chill. Which made me think he's probably pretty low level. Like kind of scared and just trying to hold a position. That's why I, the absolute mega chad that I am, clearly, end up getting bored and pushing him. But that'll be, that'll come in a second. So yeah, this is kind of the setup of T and Tarkov, you know, bit of gameplay, bit of an analysis. Analysis? Analysis. There we go. You know, talking about Tarkov, things that are going on. Talk about you guys. Just a chill video. 
having some fun. I shared an idea where I kind of analyze your clips, your guys' clips. You know, like if you had a fight that you feel like you could have played better or where you went wrong, we look over it together, point out things you could have done better, things you did well, stuff like that. That was a kind of an idea for a series, like a fight analysis in Tarkov. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, let me know in the comments. Oh, smash my nose again. Definitely got to get used to this new mic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If the sound audio has improved now. I hope it has. You know, if not, I can still mess around with the settings. So yeah, let me know, guys. So as I said, I kind of posted up, waited for him to see if he pushes the body. Didn't. Spoiler alert, in the end, we end up killing this dude. Leaving the raid at about, I think it was 90 kilos. There was literally eight bodies out there. And I was in such a rush to loot all the stuff that I lose so inefficiently as well. So, But yeah, we got out 80 kilos, 90 kilos, something like that. You know when you have those like dreams where you're running, but you're not, something's holding you back. You're not as fast as you should be. That's how I was running out of this raid. Like some weird force field holding me back. But yeah, we got out safely, so that's really cool. In a second, I do get bored. Like I said, decide to push him. Decide the smart thing to do in this situation would be to put the ult in on from the dead guy. Increase my chances of survival. So that's what we do. Run back, get the ult in. We know where he is in the rough area. We don't need sound. We go around there, slow peek him. We end up taking his head off. Daddy tasteless. Running out with all the loot. Super mega chad. Tell your friends. If you get this guy in a raid, run the other way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm awful. But yeah, it was a super fun raid. Had a couple like this this week. Having loads of fun. I was getting a bit annoyed at Tarkov the other week because I was not having a good time. But yeah, mix things up this week. Try some new things. Had loads of fun. I've also, when I've been getting annoyed at Tarkov, been playing this really chill game on Steam as well. So you guys should check that out. It's called Lens Island. Basically, it's a game where you're on an island, got a village next to you, kind of like Stardew Valley. That's how I'd explain it. But it's super chill, super fun to play, especially when you're playing such a heated game like Tarkov, where you literally need to be spoon feeding yourself the G Fuel powder. <laughs> like when I play this game, my blood pressure is literally hitting the roof. So yeah, it's nice to just chill out on another game. And I suggest that if you guys feel like you get really annoyed at Tarkov or you need a break, go play some chill game, honestly. Anyway, that is it for today. Hope you guys just enjoyed the video, the new little series I'm going to be doing, T and Tarkov. Let me know in the comments if you did enjoy it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Appreciate it so much. It honestly helps a lot as well. Like I said earlier, let me know your favorite gun in the comments. Really interested to know that. I've got loads of other content, including guides and all stuff Tarkov. Also in the future, other games, we will be playing other games. Super excited for Dying Light. So if you are interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Once again, hope you guys have a nice day and peace out.